have I never noticed when you put up your camera and stuff? Leave the Christmas on. Today is November 10th. I am in New York City because our anniversary is on the 13th. Ooh, and yeah. so I'm here celebrating it. Lucas's roommate moved out, so he's here by himself. And when I move in, like this will be our apartment. So I've just been roaming around, like making it home, you know? This evening we are helping out for our friend Davida's event. It's called Two or Three. It's like a Christian get together, meditation, and drawing or creating. I am excited. I'm, it starts at seven, but I'm heading there early to help her set up and stuff, so. Come along with me. No, she doesn't like my name tag. Our meat cute. Yeah, that's right. You know I love the name. That one's is that right? That's the memorial day. It's better than favorite. At Caleb's? At Caleb's, yeah. Fine. Yeah, and then Yeah. And then I went outside with my friend Daniela and we were sitting in the grill area by the food because you know what you came for. Exactly. <laughs> And you just told the nail, you know, she's like, you're afraid of me, started talking. And then she was like, oh, I live in Ridgewood. And I didn't know anybody that lived in like. Hey, guys! Hey, how's it going? Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, my gosh. How are you doing here? Nice to meet you. I love your scarf. Thank you. Yeah, it's very cozy. Okay. So I just want to, like, a plain soaking motion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I we have my music man literally texts me, he's like, can I be here at 6.40? I need to move. You have a music man? It Don't takes, it takes you that long to move. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, already. Uh, okay. Jesus is here, bro. Yes, yes, we are here. What are oh, you bro, doing here tonight? Let them know. Up, Med leading meditation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go out. <gasps> Yo, we should have I'm going to get my Wim Hof uh, hat on. Are you, are you going to add Wim Hof? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we got the ordinary, and then you tell me like how this feels, okay? Give me your first impressions. Oof. Cold. Yeah. What is this one for? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Just the serum. Um, good for your skin. I don't really know what it does though. Yeah. Feels like. Yeah. What is this one? Good for your neck, huh? What is it called? Niacinamide. 10% mm. plus zinc. I've seen that on ads in mm. the uh, summer. In the summer? In the subway. Oh. It smells like a little bit sour. Hmm. Yeah. Are you sure this is supposed to go on my face? Yes. Right. It looks really fancy. I love how they put it in the mm -hmm. Like, squeeze. This one is more gloopy. Ooh. Ooh. It's cold. Okay. Alright. Then we have the last step, which is facial moisturizer. Woo! You need moisturizer that's solely dedicated to the face. Okay. And nothing else. I've been using the shea butter. Yeah, don't do that again. Really? I thought you said it was good for your face. I'm just kidding. Maybe shea butter is good for your face, but I have upgraded, you know? I have upgraded. Okay. As of yesterday. Period. My face kind of burns right now. Really? Yeah. I think it's because I just shaved. Oh, yeah. Now you're putting like Ugh. acids in it. 
It's actually burning a lot. Really? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. It's okay. It feels nice when you rub it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They seem long. Yeah, they're they're poking out. They're poking. All right, all done. That's it. How does your face feel? Stunning. Awesome. Our outfits for engagement shoot <laughs> happening in like ten minutes. Get that. That's sick. We look good. We are good. We got this. Let me get a bottle of water. Because I need to calm down. Like, I'm just I'm just on one right now. You need some coffee. No, that's the last thing I need. All right. We're going to meet Faith in Soho. And I think it's going to go well. I'm excited. It's going to go so well. Yeah. Um, I don't have to take it. <laughs> Faith is taking our photos. It's freezing. We are on Mercer Street. Cute little. Oh, oh, TV. <laughs> like the hop skip. Wacko. Okay. Yeah. You know? I mean, honestly, no. Is it? So much. <laughs> really? It's still, they're all small. But what? What? He knows everyone. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hello, hello, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other thing I don't like about the ASUS 500 is that this doesn't come around all the way. Oh, really? Mm. Is it so that to be vlog? Uh, no, no, no. Like, I think it's like a monitor oh, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Karen Pepe. Pepe, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, nice to meet you. How do you guys know each other? From Pepe. Hey, Pepe. From NYU. Oh, yeah, nice. from NYU. I guess we had a class together, right? Something. I can't remember what yeah, I feel like I met you at a party. Oh really? From uh, the first time I ever met you was with uh, the end. At uh, some house party in like six or something. I don't know that is. Yeah. The Asian guy. Oh yes, 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 yes. Lucas is on the phone. We are applying for our marriage license right now. So I'm gonna kind of give a little explanation because I didn't know how any of this worked up until 15 minutes ago. It doesn't matter what state you live in in, ma in the US, it matters what state you're getting married in. So we thought we had to get a New York license because we live in New York, but we're getting married in California, so we need to get a California license that's gonna yeah, be signed can. on the day of the wedding, and then you mail it to the county clerk office after the wedding five days after the wedding no later than you have to pay a fee for that so we're applying online and then we'll book we have to book an appointment to go in person to obtain the license and then pay the fee and then yeah so that's what that's what's going on right now applying for this license this is official this is official business what my new last name is going to be and if i'm going to change my middle name <sighs> Expiration date is 2025. 9-15-2025. Okay, next. All right. Name party B. Uh -huh. ah! Okay. First name. I think I should just change my first name. Middle name. Amwafwa. Last name. A new last name. So new last name is Atakura Lovejoy hyphenated. <laughs> new last name is Lovejoy. I mean, what a beautiful last name if I, if I do say so myself. The best last name. Hey, hey, woo! That's crazy. Hey! Holy moly. Clara just came back from Australia. She brought me so a shell from Australia. She also gave me, babe, look, 
I made her come back from Australia early for the wedding. Yeah, I did. Congrats on your wedding day. Love, 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 joy. What is the point about it? Mm, I'm used to my last name. What? I'm used to my last name. Yeah. I mean, you're getting married. <laughs> Absolutely no remorse. What? What? <gasps> what? What, babe? They don't have any appointments. They don't have any appointments before our our wedding. Oh, so what do we do? What do we do? What? There has to be something we can do. Dear Lord, what can we do? Please show us what we can do. Help us to figure it out. Wait, 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 wait. God. You brought an answer already? Yes, I think so. Yes, he oh, did. wait. Oh, he did. As he does. So, whew, okay. It was just a different location. Ah. Kinda. Or Norwalk, which is better. No, you still there. Okay. What you're at Georgia Tech to do, really, you're there for the engineering, for the most part, and math and sciences. And it was extremely embarrassing for Earl because he had graduated number one in his class. Surprised. There was some similar. Hello! It's the night before Thanksgiving. I'm leaving for New York City tomorrow morning. Then we have a flight to LA that evening. So this is my last day in the house as Anatakra. Um, I know I look a little bit different is because I got my eyebrows threaded and it was the most painful thing in the entire world. The first time you've done it? I, it's my second, but I feel like the first time it didn't hurt that bad. Like this time it hurt. Hurt. I don't remember it hurting this much else. I would, I would never sat in that chair. You know what I mean? Like I just thought it was like a slight pang. It was the worst pain ever. And I told her I don't want my eyebrows thin. I just want you to clean it up. But I have thin eyebrows anyway. So there's like anything you do to it, it'll look thin. And she was like, you need to get them tinted because they're very light and you can't see them. You need to get them tinted. She was trying to like upsell me. I was like, no, it's fine. Aren't you getting done? But I feel like I'm breaking out under my eyebrow. Like I, like I feel like there's like a bunch of pimples here and a bunch of pimples here, a bunch of pimples here, a bunch of pimples here, because of the threading. But it it does look clean though. I'm not gonna lie. It just looks thin. Anyway, so Clara's back from. I'm so gross. From Australia. I might. I see, I see, I see. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, Karen, that's gonna fall. So she was in Melbourne? Melbourne. Not Melbourne, Melbourne. She was in Melbourne. Yeah. How was Melbourne? Okay, you don't want to say it like that, now you're saying Ben. How was Melbourne? How am I saying it? How do you say it? Melbourne. The Melbourne. Yeah, you're just so far. <laughs> she was in Melbourne. I was in Melbourne for a DMing. For how long? For a month. How was Melbourne? It was good. It was really fun. I had a great time. Yeah. When did you land? A week ago, actually. A week ago. A week ago. I was in Arizona. We drink it out. Drink it out. But my body is forever in the future. Because mm. Asha is in the future. I could never tell when to call. Well, I had to eventually get that Melbourne clock on my phone. 
to see what time it was so I could call her. But they are. Yeah, they but catch me in Australia in August, but the vlog hasn't seen you in a while. I know. What do you have to say to them? I mean, I want to do what it does, you know, with the kangaroos, you know, my legs, you know. We're just doing some shit, hopping around and stuff, you know, just, just real shit. I'm gonna cat like put close captions and I'm gonna say unintelligible. <laughs> no, it's really fun. I'm cutting green beans. You catch me at a bad time, but I'm cutting green beans. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna chef it up. I got my turkey. Low key, I'm late on this because I just found out a couple of hours ago that we're having things in the hand. So genuinely found my out like a couple hours ago. Turkey thawing is a couple days behind. Yeah. Mac, I'm making my world famous mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, what else? I'm making my world famous honey butter cornbread. My world famous mashed potato. And I'm saying world because it has gone global. The Australians tried it and they loved it. <laughs> so my wedding shoes arrived. You guys, I showed you the other wedding shoes and they were too big. I got these from Sam Edelman, but they are also a little bit big. It's fine though. The other shoes were size six and this was a size 5.5. I genuinely thought I wore like a 6 or a 5.5 in heels. I'm starting to realize that I don't. And maybe I wear a 6 in sneakers and like a 5 in heels. But I, I love these heels. Look, just look at that. The length, the bedazzle. I was against silver because like, you know, I'm like white shoes only. But it's not bad. Like I actually really like it. So yeah, these are my, the shoes. I'm gonna pack them. My veil came in as well. <laughs> so packing that. I love that. Oh, and then I ordered some stuff from Revolve for the honeymoon. Just a couple things, like some like neck like chain. I don't know. Um, some really cool earrings, um, another pair of earrings, and then a little halter top, a bikini, a top, a dress, a two-piece. Just some new stuff for... The honeymoon, I don't know if I told you guys, I don't think I did, but yeah, we're going to Mexico, like, right after the wedding. We're going to Mexico for a week, and then we'll come back to New York City. So from, from LA, we're going straight to Mexico, so I have to pack for a week in LA, all my wedding items, and honeymoon. Three things I'm like packing for and then i also need to pack for new york because when i we land back in new york it's cold um i have some stuff at lucas's but i don't have what i need for winter in new york i would have to come back here to my home and you know get some more like winter stuff to be honest so i'm i'm kind of like that's why i'm having oh, that's why i'm that's why i'm having a bit of struggle with packing because i don't know if i should pack just for la wedding and honeymoon or if i should bring some stuff for new york as well for when you know to leave at the crib i don't know like my gut is saying like I should and I probably will but the luggage is just gonna be so big and I don't want a big like a big luggage so that's what <laughs> pack with me this is not really the best lighting but we shall go with it so there's a lot of stuff but this all feels so fun Okay, so currently, I'm watching this video called Sex in Marriage. 
as a virgin sex and marriage as a virgin <laughs> sex and marriage as a virgin was hard things i wish i knew and how i'm navigating sexual intimacy it popped up on my suggestion i was like mm, i need to watch this video because i got a comment recently and they were basically asking me like and this was on my wedding planning video and they were like what about vaginismus and i was like oh that's so true i never like really mentioned it <laughs> it's so funny i made a video about how i was a virgin and now i'm getting married and literally a week and a half parents don't watch <laughs> i think this lady in this video has vaginismus too and it's so crazy because like you don't know you have vaginismus till you're about to have sex like that was how i found out thank god that it didn't happen but i was about to have sex with someone and they were like and I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't know there was anything wrong. So it really sucks for like, you know, virgins who never tried to have sex or maybe never even tried to, just didn't think about the body in general because I feel like that's what the church conditions us to do. Just do not think about your private part at all to find out on the night of the wedding that, oh, this is going to be way harder than I thought. Like, I cannot, I feel so sorry because it happens so much. Like, in one of my videos recently, I talked about being on the Vaginismus Reddit, <laughs> subreddit community, and it happens so much. Like, so many people that save themselves for religious purposes, and they get married and they find out that they cannot have sex, and... And, or like it's painful or it won't go in or anything and then you think that there's something wrong with you thank god that i discovered that i had it early on and um went through physical therapy for it it's also crazy that my insurance covered pelvic floor physical therapy but yeah if you suspect that you have vaginismus like tried something and it didn't work or you've tried to put tampons in or something you should check out pelvic floor therapy like go see a pelvic floor therapist because that's who I went to see and I only had a couple sessions but it really helped me tremendous really helped me tremendously and I also bought dilators I showed the dilators in my other video oh my gosh I showed the dilators and <laughs> I showed the dilators and I'm like I don't want to use those like that's so weird um but yeah I ended up using the dilators but even just the thought of dilating again like freaks me out the thought of sex doesn't freak me out it used to it doesn't anymore i am excited to like you know explore discover what it is about that i've been hearing but i will not be surprised if i relate a lot to what she's saying about like how it took months for her and her husband to you know get in tune and like actually start having like pain-free sex or or even the thought of like having sex alone because it's such a weird weird switch and i don't understand how we're supposed to do it like god i know you said to save ourselves from marriage but i don't understand how we're supposed to go from seeing marriage as or seeing sex as something bad sinful evil wrong and then boom you're married oh you're supposed to enjoy it now how how is that supposed to work that's like it's going to take so much so much time to unlearn and not condition myself to think of it as something you know dirty and gross and like and i don't know how many 23 year olds share this view because i know like sex is everywhere so i don't necessarily think it's like gross or dirty but inside of me yeah like i I haven't been taught to like even think about or want sex you know what I mean so how am I supposed to just switch my thinking immediately um but yeah I'm just happy that I discovered I had vaginismus earlier so I could do the work I will only know how prepared I am on the day but just prepare myself and vaginismus is like one aspect of it purity culture and how I view sex is a completely different part of it as well so yes I physically you know I've been doing my exercises my breathing exercises my stretching my dilating my you know to prepare my body and mind 
and to train that mind and muscle connection with my pelvic floor to allow for sex but when it comes to that conditioning of thinking about sex it's pretty weird i don't i don't think that i'm gonna like be like ew look at what are you doing <laughs> no i'm not and that's what these ladies are talking about too and and i think more people should talk about it because i've heard it from a lot of people that you know that's what happens and yeah. so that's my little rant about sex you guys someone had commented what about vaginismus yeah i i've been preparing my body for it and kind of also preparing my mind to you know like i think i think <laughs> i think it'll be fine but i do think it will take a lot of work and i'm not going to just immediately get so comfortable with the idea of sex both physically and mentally that's what i'm watching as i pack I haven't packed for a vacation in so long i am thoroughly thoroughly excited let me put you guys down here and start a bit more packing Stuff. I have a garter. I don't know why a garter came with the veil. I got my veil on Etsy, by the way. I have like maybe a purse that I'll hold that day. My mom gave me some heels for the honeymoon. Bag full of like, I don't know, belts, some bikinis, some dresses and outfits. And on this side, we have like stuff for LA. But here's the thing I have like 17 skirts. One two three four five i have five skirts five skirts so many pants where are the tops <laughs> now that's my question where are the tops it seems like i don't have any tops for this adventure i'm embarking on I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. It's also almost 2 a.m. And I just know I have to leave the house at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Number one thing, I cannot miss my bus. I cannot miss my bus. I'm saying this now. I can't miss my bus. My bus, I can't miss it. And so I should probably sleep soon. But here I am. It is what it is is what it is and it's fine and i will be fine i almost missed my bus and i almost left you behind Arrived in New York City And it's Thanksgiving. I'm actually so sad. We didn't think of this earlier, but we could have went to He could have came to mass and we could have took the flight from Boston But we didn't think of it because we always take flights from New York City So we booked the flight to LA from New York like Thanksgiving evening and so I had to come here all that to say is that I am sad that I'm missing Thanksgiving but we're having our own little Thanksgiving at the moment aren't we oh yeah we made some Trader Joe's cornbread it actually tastes really good and then we have some mashed potatoes and we're frying some pork chops because don't want to do a whole turkey. We don't even like turkey that much. Too long. I do like turkey. You told me you didn't. You said you wanted ham. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You said let's get ham. You asked me for ham when I said what do you want. That's why I got pork instead. I promise. You said you want ham. 
I have no recollection of this. Maybe I yeah. was joking. No, no, you said you no, wanted. No, I don't think I would have ever said I want ham. Babe. Trust me, you did. You said you, I asked you what you want, and then you said cranberry sauce. What? Ham. Yeah. That's why I got cranberry sauce. You said cranberry sauce is your favorite thing. No, yeah, I you didn't. didn't. What? No. Are you joking? No, me right now? no, babe. Because when you pulled out the cranberry sauce and you said, "Oh yeah," you said it was your favorite thing. In my head, I was like. When did I see Yeah, you did. That? We were speaking on the phone and I said, what do you want? And I was like, oh, stuffing is my favorite. And then you said, oh, I don't like stuffing. So I got the cornbread instead. I, I promise. Are you, you're not joking me? No, no, I don't remember. Ever. Like, yeah. in me, in my core, I knew I would never ask for ham. Well, maybe you meant turkey, but you said ham. Yeah, maybe I meant turkey. Because I just know I wouldn't. So you actually like turkey? Yes. Oh. I love turkey. True, you're going to I also love chofi like yeah, that. Yeah. And turkey when it's done well. Oh, Clara makes the best turkeys. I wouldn't be surprised. Shout out Clara, the best chef we know. Yeah. But you do, you like pork chops though, right? I do like pork ah, chops. Right, right. Um, I like them tender, like steak. Because whenever I make pork chops, I overcook them a little. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you won't do that. And then we're going to fly to LA tonight. I think we're going to leave tomorrow, tomorrow morning. But well, it, kinda, it kind of is tonight. Yeah. Kinda... Basically tonight because we have to leave the apartment at 3.30 yeah. to catch the flight. So we're going to LA and I have to like... Yeah, let's just do one thing at a time. We're making dinner right now. And I'm excited, it smells really good. We have cornbread, mashed potatoes, pork chops, and some cranberry sauce. It feels so weird now that I'm here, like knowing that I, like, I live here now. Yeah. Like the last time I was here, I didn't live here. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> but now I live here. Like when we go to LA and we come back, we'll be married and I will be living here. Where we are. I love explaining it. <laughs> what are you thankful for? You. This apartment. True. God's presence. His favor over us. My family. Honestly, my job. Art. Trading, basketball, the gym, saunas, cold plunges, food. <laughs> Everything is pretty good. I am thankful for living in answered prayers, our upcoming wedding ceremony. True. Living in New York City again, this meal, my family, Clara, Zawal, Mama. Um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because then wedding prep vlog officially starts. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll see you guys when we're in LA. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I will, I'll see you in LA. Your hair. I know. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Bye.